This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So uh, we want to mention too that uh, Cena is going to be moving over to SmackDown for another one night only appearance because the show's in Boston, but it was never advertised, which leads Meltzer to believe the show only drawing 5,500 was the result of that. You know, when you've got a big surprise like that and, or I guess that's what I sh- I'm trying to ask, do you value the surprise over the bump in business or should you always err on, well, let's do what's best for business and, and not worry about the surprises or creative or what have you. It's a, um, it's a, that's a tough question. It really depends on, on what the value of that surprise is versus the value of getting out in front of it and everyone know that person's going to be there. So it's, it becomes a catch 22 sometimes. Uh, I am, have always been one of, I like to promote and I like to let people know what they're going to get as much as we can and try to get those names out there. So at least a hint for God's sake. And it seems like Cena being on SmackDown might actually be a thing moving forward. Is this the era where Cena's schedule just started to get nutty? I mean, there was a run there where it felt like Cena was on every WWE thing for years, radio, media, uh, any sort of public appearance, but also every house show, every TV, every pay-per-view, uh, is this when Vince started to think, Hey man, just add Cena. Well, John was over and John also had the desire, the wherewithal to do that. John wanted to do every single thing that he possibly could do and did it well. So when you're, you're looking at what you have and who you have, John Cena was always first and foremost in everyone's mind because John wanted to make everything and John would make, John never phoned it in. He would always go out and have fun, always go out and put out the most effort. So if you put John on the card and you put John anywhere, he was going to deliver. It was, that was a, just a done deal. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.